Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we're back again. It's Tuesday. And today we're going to be playing some 8-bit games Excellent. on the Atari X 800XL. 800XL. Okay. Yes. So three brand new games. Okay. Um, and we've got something to unbox Yay. as well. Gifts. And Yay, I know what they are. Gifts. <laughs> what are they? Prepaid gifts? Prepaid gifts. Yes. yes. Gifts for me yeah. that I bought for myself. <laughs> yes. Because I know what I want best. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> and it's very difficult for you to buy gifts because I usually mm -hmm. buy them all for myself beforehand. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, when birthdays come and yes. and then I have no idea what to get you. So. And my birthday just, just passed, passed yes. on Sunday. Yes. Uh, October 3rd. So... Um, we, uh, well, you made me lemon meringue pie. That's correct. Which is, uh, my favorite dessert. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is a lot of work to make. Especially you made it when from you're making, uh, making a vegan version of yeah. lemon meringue pie. <laughs> so. um, you made it from scratch. You mm -hmm. made the shell. That's you right. made the filling. Yes. You made the topping. Yes. Yes. And yeah. it was delicious. Yeah. Um. Mm. I'm glad you liked it. Yes. Yeah. It was very good. Mm -hmm. The, uh, games today we're going to be playing are Return of the Fungi uh, by Simon Hunt. Yes. We're playing Demo's Underworld, mm -hmm. which is a work in progress. Uh, and they released a demo for that, so it's just one level. But okay. It's, but it's actually challenging. Yeah. Um, and also we're going to be playing <laughs> Betty's Issues as well, yeah. which These is a These cats platformer. are having a, having a... Having a fit? Um, having a fight? Well, Pixel just pushed Atari over, which is hilarious. Well, thank you for the birthday <laughs> greetings, everybody. Yes. Cats in the cat cam. Mm -hmm. Oh, Phaser Cat Games had the same 6502 shirt. I love it because yeah. it encapsulates everything. All the systems, All the systems mm -hmm. plus more, plus like Commodore 64, <laughs> plus the NES, yeah. plus your washing machine Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as well. It, it's mm -hmm. a chip used in a lot of things. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. They are scrolling there. 8 Bit Swami, Alna for Armscar, Coder, Atari, HBR, Pocock, Buck Holmes, Cafe Man, Canadian Tanner, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Crossbow Dianoid, Dan ABC, Gr Dr. Mook House, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G. Croco, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, MK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Packrat VG, Cohog, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Socrates, Spicer, Ass, Ramirez, Welshman, Tiki Dan Gay, Trek MD, X, Ken X. And if your name is missing, like Miss Commands, apparently, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not on there. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing you can do hit the subscribe button and you get your name listed and you support mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. um, and it's free if you have Amazon Prime, which everybody in the world seems to have. Mm -hmm. um, because you get shows with it. You mm -hmm. get fast shipping. I'm not advertising for Amazon. No. Nope. We have it. No. Nope. Not a sponsor. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can just follow us on Twitch if you don't want to do that. Lero you'll be alerted. Open. There we go. Thank you, Miss Command. Thank you, Miss Command. Mm. Now, Miss Command is... She won't be listed. She'll be listed next mm -hmm. time. Um, my wife and I are the same way, Crossbow says. We buy through the year whatever we want. Yeah. When we see we... We're impossible to shop for birthdays and holidays. Yeah. We don't put a moratorium on birthdays, but we definitely do it for Christmas. It's like two months yeah. before. Christmas is kind of the one where yeah. it's hard to keep up during the year <laughs> with people, you know, family members, birthdays and things. But I try to like, you know, yeah. take a break and make sure no one's buying stuff around Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Holidays are um, at least it's one time of the year. right? Yeah. yeah. So I was busy on the weekend. So yes. if I didn't get back to your messages i know there's some messages waiting i apologize mm -hmm. we also did a movie marathon on yes, saturday we did. um part two of darren aronofsky's films yes um which we can talk we, about as yes. we play yeah. yeah um yeah so that was a lot of fun we'll that talk about it as we play yeah yeah Something lots of opinions about. His yes films are really so we'll go through so. the films one by one probably yeah. yeah um so let's see what's in the mail for me because i've actually forgotten specifically what it is mm -hmm. i know generally what this is mm -hmm. but i can't remember specifically i know it's games retro games Yay! not retro even games. homebrew retro games it's hard to buy for me because my interests are nerdy and specific <laughs> welcome to the club oh, yeah <laughs> welcome to her hell 
yeah. trying well, to buy games, trying to buy things for I would me. never buy games for you because, I well, I know like, you have lists. I have to tell her what it is and I have to give her the website where you can buy it at because it's so specific. I can, I can do like, yeah. I can, I can find you cute shirts and things like that, yeah. like that I can do, but yeah. like actual games or software or systems or, I would never touch that because James yeah. knows what he wants and he also knows how to buy it. Like I, I would be scared if I bought something that was like older or vintage that right. it wouldn't work or, you know, That's so true. I don't think I would go down that path, but Hey, Mike's all clothes and stuff, cute little things. And I don't know. Um, yeah. Trinkets, little things, trinkets or, or old yeah. toys or something that, that wouldn't be so yeah. bad. So, so yeah. oh, I'm guessing you it. can guess by the shape and size. Yeah. Hold those for a second. What system they're for. Um, intense anticipation. Oh, you're revealing them. Oh, I don't have no, to. That's fine. Um, in anticipation, <laughs> anticipation for the uh, UAV upgrade on my 5200. Oh, can we see it? Which ones are those you're holding up? We have you... countermeasure and kicks. Kicks. Q I X and Robotron 2084 and Dig Dug. I love Ooh, Dig Dug. Dig Dug. I love kicks. Yeah. Love Robotron 2084 now. Very nice. Now that. We played it a ton. I haven't played much Countermeasure, but we played um, the sequel to Countermeasure. It's that tank game that. Uh, oh yes, yes. Um, that Bob uh, DeCrescenzo made. Um, so that's the. Uh, yeah, those are all really great. Yeah, and I got yeah. a, a pretty good deal on them through the Atari Age uh, forums. Oh. Now that I've, I'm kind of delving into there and looking, drinking problems. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a mess. Yeah, we're going to have to wash that pillowcase. That's okay. <laughs> all, all over the, the place. Uh, Crossbow says, remember, if you if you decide you need to send out that 5200, pack it well. Mm -hmm. Crossbow just posted on Facebook a destroyed, not destroyed, a finely mangled 5200. Um, it's very sad. The person just put it in a box did not wrap the actual 5200 just put some like pillowy stuff on the top and bottom so it moved around in the box and uh the flap got destroyed oh no plus other parts got destroyed as well oh my god yeah very retro they're chunky they're huge only to be rivaled by neo geo carts um yeah what are the biggest carts these are pretty big i mean nes carts are, are really big as well mostly empty um, how does kicks perform with analog joysticks? That is interesting. Um, mm. I think most of the analog games are just like, are you in that direction? Are you more than zero? Mm. Or are you in this, within this threshold? You don't need a, they don't want to make it at exactly scale, zero. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Some games you do. Um, mm -hmm. but for the, uh, digital games like kicks, they would just like within this range, like up and down, you're not moving. And mm. then in this range, you're moving up. Yeah. Just up, not fast, not slow, just up. And then in this range going down, you're just moving down. I think that's yeah. how yeah. it works. The joystick door on the 5200 is easily broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is a single 5200 cartridge bigger than a Game Boy Advance? Ooh, maybe. No. They're pretty big. Yeah, they're pretty right. big, but they're... Uh, it, it's close. No, it'd be Game Boy Advance. Those are the wide ones, right? Um, are they are the, they the ones that fold? Handheld? No. no. Game Boy Advance. Oh, I'm guessing, there's so many Game Boys that came out. Yeah. I can't remember which one's which. Um, so looking awesome. forward to playing those <laughs> games on the 5200 when I have it modded. Mm -hmm. Now that I have all the parts, I need to set aside a day, mod the 5200, mod the Vectrex. I also have um, an original Game Boy that's kind of messed up a little bit mm -hmm. uh, that I bought a whole new shell for. And a backlight and all oh, the mods that's for right. it. I remember Long that. Long time ago. That was so ages I, ago. Yeah, I need to do that one. So <clears throat> a couple projects. Yeah, a few things to do. Yep. Um, so this <clears throat> popped up on the forums, which is pretty uh, pretty cool. Uh, Stephen A. posted on what thread is this? On the Cave Apocalypse thread. Okay. Which is the helicopter game that's yes. by oh, made yes. by Al Nefer. Yeah. It that game contacts the back end of the plus cart the plus store and loads <coughs> levels off the internet 
Um, oh, oh, cool. Um, okay. So, it's a, uh, Al Nefer says, Stella doesn't yet support plus ROMs. And then Stephen A says, coming soon. Coming very <laughs> soon. So, Stella will now be able to apparently talk to the internet and load levels nice. off of the internet. Very so nice. that's going to be great. Cool. Because you right now you can't play um, Cave Apocalypse in Stella. You can get a little ways, and I think some are built in, and then it goes to the internet and goes, bah. I can't load this, and it just crashes. Mm -hmm. But other um, other emulators you can. I think they listed them, yeah. Go for 2600, um, a Javatari, which is a web-based, web and the Plus Cart, mm. all support um, Cave Apocalypse, and soon Stella will, which is very exciting. So that it'll have to be build some levels, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, and he does have a level builder oh, as good. well. So. Oh, good. Yep. Okay. So, very mm. uh, small amount of news. So, let's switch back. So, Atari 2600 dude saying that I only found out recently that the 5200 label size are the 2600 label what? sideways. What? What? Grab one. Lies. Grab one. Lies. Well, those are not proper. I don't have any proper ones here. What? Oh, I guess all the... Um, yeah, you have proper ones. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> How to save on money. My mind is blown. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy the 200 sheet page from Staples and then That's you have right. extra labels. What are you going to do? Yeah, Atari had so you many labels. You build a whole left cart there. around the labels you have left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Not only the whole cart, the whole system. They would have to make this wide to slot. <laughs> that is really crazy idea. It's true, Albert prints them on the same sheets. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a uh, a nice fact to know. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who very knew? Funny. Now all very, of us very know. Funny. Yep. Um, so we're going to get right into the games. We're going to be playing Return of the Fungi by Simon Hunt. This is a 2021 game. It came out um, 21? Oh, okay. in, the bit, in the zip file. It says August 30th, the date on the XEX. So okay. it's about a month old, just over a month old. Um, this is actually a sequel to two other games. It's a trilogy yeah. of games. The first one was put out in 1983. And the second one was put out in 1984. Okay. And this one was put out this year. <laughs> Long time coming. A span of 28 years mm -hmm. for the trilogy of games. So the guy came back and said, hey, I'm going to make a new game. That's I'm awesome. I'm going to complete the trilogy. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Um, so we're going to be playing the new one today. We have not played the old ones, but we'll play the new we'll one. We'll have to play the old ones at some, at some later Yeah, point. they look fun, actually. Do the trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so here's the joystick. Merci. Let me just get this oh. back oh, up. Oh, disturb the pixel. Oh, he's mad. Uh-huh. Um, so it's under, uh, Digger Dan Trilogy. So they all tie in together. So there are the other ones. Um, don't think we have really have time today to play the other ones. Okay. Otherwise, we we do we could take we could take a look at them. You want to like first? really quick? Do them in order? Um, yeah. Or do okay. So Dan yeah. strikes back. Is that uh, the that first would, one? No. That would be the second That's one. The second one. Sorry, I just went with the first one in the list and suddenly realized no, That's that okay. wouldn't be number one. Diamonds. It's, yep. Okay. It's quick to reboot, so. <laughs> Um, so, let me just adjust the volumes here. So, jump into it. Bigger down. Brian the Blob. Philip. <laughs> Filler. <The> filler. <laughs> uh, the Fireflies. The Eyes. Simon the Snake. Nice. <laughs> and the demon. Not, not, it doesn't have a name, just the demon. Okay, gotcha. do it. Um, you have to get all the diamonds. I watched a short video on this. Oh. Oh, I guess you started it now. What? Press the button. Those diamonds. Oh. Coming and filling in all your your tunnel. So take the blob. Blob ate your diamonds. 
One more to go. He ate my diamonds. Oh. You have to have a place to dig up. There you go. Gosh. Yay! And repeat. And I'm guessing with more and harder uh, enemies. So the thing, it, the thing in this that gives it a twist is that you have to have a place to dig upwards. Gotcha. You can't just dig because you'd fall down. Thank you. Ah! Causing havoc for yourself yeah, here. Yeah, I just killed myself. Oh, no. No. Ugh, now you have. No. Nope. Now you can't cross over. Yep, you're dead. Okay. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> dig okay. Dug meets Load Runner. Very true. Yeah. Dan Strikes Back? Yep. The English Software Company presents Dan Strikes Back. Simon Hunt, 1984. Excellent. Jump into it. So get all the fungi. Get all those things. I guess this is like three quarters perspective almost, because you can go up again. Oh, you, oh, ah! oh, you turn into an angel. Oh, that's awesome. That looks <laughs> Flying really to good. the ceiling. Yeah. Not really sure what I'm doing. Get all of the things. Avoid the baddies. Oh, oh, I still oh. have to fall. Can you jump? I bet you can jump. Maybe. Well, now you can't. You can jump up there. Try and jump. Oh, you can. You can go up and down. Oh. Oh. But what? I can't go up there. I'm confused. Oh, you can go up where there are bricks, maybe? But not where there aren't bricks? Oh, they're growing. Are they growing? Did they know. grow? Oh, doors. Whoa, that was very, very close. No, I can't go up there. All the way to the top. There you go. Whoa, oh. that was close. Oh, I have to go back down. <laughs> ah! Oh, you could have gone to the left and up, I think. No. No? Uh, oh, yeah. Down the Because there's bottom. bricks? Yeah, you're right. I was thinking you can. But let's see. You can do it. Last life. Will. Did that regrow? Uh. No! Up, up and over? Stuck. You can't go up. Oh, it has to be it. a passageway. Okay, I understand more now. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's now try. We have a sense of the history of it. Um, so the description, the quick, um, yep, you can get into it. Quick start guide. Um, press the joystick to begin the game, but let this go. Uh, during the game, push the joystick to move Digger Dan around the arena. Press the joystick button to place Digger Dan Prox Mine Time Bomb. Mm -hmm. And press the space bar to detonate all the Prox Mines. So I will do that for you. Um, so he was going to do it in 1986. <gasps> that little guy made some mushrooms. So say that again. I'm, he's how blowing do I... it up. Drop bombs? 2021 <laughs> instead of 1986. Yeah. Press the button. To drop a bomb. To... Place Digger Dan, Prox Mines, or Time Bombs. Okay. And then I I can press the but, uh, space bar to detonate all the Prox Mines. Gotcha. We'll, f we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, because he actually on his website, it says, here's the basic instructions. Do you want to know the full instructions? <laughs> and then you say yes. And then it says, are you sure you want to know the full instructions? <laughs> so it's he, like, he wants it to be a mystery of sorts. I see. Before you play it. So that's... That is the all the instructions all right. that's given. All right. Okay. He says move the joystick to start, which is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Wave one. So that's not you at the top. You're in. You're inside. After all this stuff happens, so that's you. So you have to place a explosion. Don't touch the mushrooms, but place a bomb near them. I. Don't touch the I, mushrooms. But I hit the button. It didn't do anything. Um, press the button. Now press the button again. Oh, there we go. Okay. And the mushrooms have to hit that. Oh, I they played do? it a bit. Yeah. Oh, they've. There you got two of them. And it takes out a an area. Um, and I think that's the prox mines. And I can explode all of them if you want them to be set off. 
Oh, I see. Like, if they're kind of close to them, but they're not touching them. Hmm. Oh, they explode at the end, but there's nothing to explode. So oh, you phase, lose? Do you lose? Phase two. Oh, I see. It covers... I don't understand. So now you have to blow up those spores without touching them. Oh, I see. Probably want to move out of the way. There you go. Because you're losing some life. Oh my god, you can't move fast enough. You have to do it quick, quick, quick. Now you've got 20... 16% life? I don't know what that is. Let's see. You oh. use life up by placing a bomb? Nope. Yeah, you do. No, I died. I got hit. Yeah. But it seems like see. when you place the bomb, you use up life, too. Still life, too. Nostalgic says, I like the mushroom animations. Mm -hmm. Cute bounces. Oh, back to phase one. Oh, what? Did you lose all your lives up? Mm, maybe. Yeah, because now you have three again. Ugh. It's an interesting tactic is you place it near them, but you don't explode them. I mean, you can explode all of them. And then they then they wiggle and turn into spores, which then, in the second round, you have to explode them. They never get close enough. Set them off. Thank there you. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So you've got 88% of your life left. color issues on the the number up there. Run! Now I saw somebody play this and say that you actually get more points if you don't kill them all. You can just keep dropping bombs and the spores keep growing and then you drop another one and it oh, keeps growing. Oh, I see. So you are getting points yeah. if you don't... So is it just the don't two ways? Don't touch the mushroom. Is it solid advice for life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just don't touch the mushrooms. Um, let's see. Yes, there's two, two phases in each level. Oh, no, that got me. Yeah, I'm stay out of the way. Because you do have a life bar as well as lives that can go down. Oh, kill the mushroom Im immediately. Now you do start out with... Oh, that is interesting. Like you build up... Ex yeah, you get them back after you lay them. So actually you can lay a ton of bombs. Yeah. And you'd keep getting them back after they explode. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have eight. Yeah, and then it goes back to eight. So you can just go... Do, 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 lay them everywhere. Yay! So if you do well in the first round, it's easier in the second nice. round, right? This feels like an inverse of Zookeeper. <laughs> it does. You're the one that's trapped. And you, except the animals don't fight each other in Zookeeper. If the animals fought each other in Zookeeper, it, oh, oh my gosh, God. right in the explosion. Yeah, you can kind of... Oh, oh, they set each other off. Interesting. So you can like lay a whole line of them and it'll, oh, that one was too far from the other one, I guess. Oh, come on. Hit it. There you go. Oh, that's a good tactic. That's really good. I'm guessing in later levels, it gets like crazy with tons of mushrooms. You can see in the top left, how many more mushrooms need to come out, are gonna come out. But it doesn't get the spores, the leftover. No, the spores bombs. are spores are very hardy. They, uh... Uh, were the were two original games released on cart back in the day or only disc and tape? I didn't see any mention of cart or tape, um, so they, or sorry, cart. I didn't see any mention of cart, so I'm I'm guessing only disc or tape. And these, um, all three were released together recently, so you can download all three at once in the zip file. And it comes with all the HTML instructions as well. Um, and you can get it off of his, uh, actually off of the oh, Retro Unite website has a link to it. 
So the description of the game, it has been decades since Digger Dan ventured deep into the underground caverns to retrieve the great diamond from Brian the Blob's vault. That's the diamond in the middle. The dangers encountered while locating and retrieving oh. the diamond are now mere memories. Oh, it's, it's the same angel. Funny. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, so many spores now. Um, the dangers encountered while locating and retrieving the diamonds are now mere memories, but Dan has never let his guard down. The great diamond is now secure inside an energy field at the center of the force field protected area, safe from his arch nemesis. But Brian the Blob has never forgotten the gleam of the diamond. He oh. once held in his evil glutch clutches. Did I kill myself? That's, no, I didn't. That's the blob. Brian. Brian, <laughs> Brian the, blob. the blob. It's like naming your pets a human name. I love that. I love that. Hey, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he was Philip, I think. He wasn't was he? Philip. Yeah, his. his uh... Yeah, Atar oh Atari's name Run was right Philip. Time. Unless you lost life. I know, terrible. Wave six. Well, oh, good defense there. Boom. Oh, just missed the edges there. Oh, stay out of the way. One of them's gonna hit. Get out of the way. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I wish they were on camera for you guys to see them. They wake up and go nuts. They're like, ah! It's Hello. treat time, kittens. Who do we have to thank for treat time? No. Metal Lunar. There's your treat bell. Oh, ding. Right. He's like, ding. Five treats, please. I'd yeah. like, like to order five treats. Yeah. You can feed them. All right. It's treat time. It's treat time. Did he order right away? Yeah, he, three, three dings. Three dings. Right off the bat. <laughs> right off the bat. My mother used to have a cat named Bob Crossbow said. Yeah. How does one perform the treat time? Yes. It's at the bottom uh, under the zero one zero one zero ones little bits. Um, and most people who have been here for watching for a, a long time, all of you have been watching for a long time the show, you'd have, you have, would have built up a lot of the bits. What are they called? Did I do? No, they're bites. Bites, I bites. think you call them. Yeah. yeah. And it's listed under there. It's 5,000 bites, but most people have like 75,000 yeah. bites. So. <laughs> yeah. How did this start? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to. You're it's gonna. A soft ding. Oh, listen, listen it's like to now, him go. Now. Where's the lid? Okay, okay. okay, kitty. My turn. This is quite the elaborate intro. Oh, it's intro. coming! It's coming! Oh my goodness! Very insistent. Oh my god! Got way too close. I think the tactic of. Uh, oh, oh my! Oh my god! It's fun to freak out the cats from afar. Mm -hmm. One day we'll, we'll um, be able to convince Pixel to also hit the bell. But as long as Atari is pretty enthusiastic. Um... Yeah, Atari rings Atari's enough for like, both of them. Yeah, yeah. And Pixel's like, he does, it, he does it for me. I don't need to. So. A bit of slow down there. When, yeah. I, when I had too many mushrooms were uh, yeah. getting built If you put too many bombs, you run out of them. So I, that's what happened to me in the last level. Y yeah, oh. you want to have like one in reserve, I guess. Oh, Come on. you just took pixels. Oh. Oh, I kitty. guess he does deserve a bonus one for doing all the hard labor of all hitting the, the bell. Work. Yeah. So are those spores too close to my thing? No, I don't think so. Does it matter? I don't know, because I don't know what the rules are of like you're supposed to protect your diamonds. So. Are you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you die. I don't know if the diamond. See, if you do that over and over again. You just get points? Yeah. Just, uh, or do you? She's not getting any points. points. Yeah, you are. Oh, it's on the right side. That's your yeah. high score. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you get points. Nice. Oh, the cat. Oh, Atari is My neighbor's dog is named Joseph Richard. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like really formal pet names. Yes. <laughs> it's always really With cute. two names. Yeah, Atari was originally Philip, and I can't remember what Pixel was. It was also a name that was ridiculous for a cat. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, running straight into it will kill you. Yes. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I am I've invincible. Done that. I am invincible. Until you... Until you press the button. Mm hmm For the first time. Come on. It's pretty cute. Come I on, dudes. absolutely love... 
the menacing jumping uh, mushrooms. Yeah, they're super There's something super about them. Cute. When you think of their scale, think of if you were, if it was life size, how massive frightening. and frightening those mushrooms would be. Incredibly frightening. They would tower over you and jump around. And I picture them having really like leathery mushroom skin, which oh, would yeah. be really, really that you terrifying. need That you need bombs for. Yeah, you need bombs. They're tough mushrooms. Yep. I read a book and it was sort of like a gothic horror-ish book that was set in Mexico and I probably shouldn't give it away. But anyway, <laughs> the like one of the premises is, was that there's this huge underground earth system of mushrooms like mm. they all connect through the earth and they were controlling humans like they they had humans under their thrall. And, and it was a kind of a terrifying thought, like like um, the control and they would, you know, the spores in the air and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a good, a good a concept. Really good premise. Yeah, good horror premise. So this is... Oh, you're just cheesing the spores yeah. to get your... Yeah, you have to watch your life, though. Oh, yeah, your life is going down. I better finish it off. <gasps> oh, oh nope. you killed yourself. Did I? I think so. You didn't way better than I did. Oh, no. No. No, I You're didn't kill myself. Going. Okay. You saw one more. What's chat say? That's the spirit of the 80s. Get your imagination imagination rolling out of a few pixels. Yes. Yep. Terrifying, to... gigantic mushrooms. <laughs> yep. I like how they jump. Like, like the little animation of how they kind of tip sideways when they're <laughs> jumping around. I think that is brilliant. I think Get it's em. so cute. After I die. Get they, they kind of like swing and jump boing. the, the hat boing. Kind of boing. Boing. they dissolve okay i want one more okay very 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 good yeah 80s games were nonsensical it was, <laughs> it was just like yeah mushrooms yeah. uh diamond spores yeah. explosives <laughs> yes. and a bouncy green thing yeah that'll make a good game mm -hmm. and now games are like super realistic yes like they're just all realistic yeah well to to a certain degree yeah they're still... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. As long as I don't Injuries. get hit by the mushrooms, I'm going to be okay. Set up a perimeter. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it. Oh, oh. Except don't get hit by your own explosives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a really fun game, and I could see this in the arcade. Yeah, with you like, could, actually. like maybe a rollerball. That would be really good to move oh, around. Oh, to run around. Yeah, yeah, move quickly. Yeah, I'd probably just run into the mushrooms all the time. Then. Oops. Killed it too fast. <laughs> it was great. You never needed a reason for anything to be there. It just, it just was. just was. Yeah. See, now yeah. I'm doing better. Just think of Pac-Man. Yeah, crazy. What? What it is a Pac-Man? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the ghosts are something, but yeah. like the Pac-Man was yeah. like, what is that thing? I don't know. Just a, a brown ball with a mouth. With a mouth, and, and sometimes with a bow and a and um. And you eat fruit and. Yeah. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other things. And a whole bunch of dots. And you're stuck in a maze. Yep. It's just great. And yet it works so well. <laughs> it does. It's like it just everybody was like, "Yep, I accept it." Yeah. <laughs> I accept your premise. One more. There we go. There we go. Good job. See, the explosions don't hurt the spores. If you're Atari, then Pac-Man was a very lanky, lanky jogger. Yes, when they f put... Oh, the original, like the 2600 On the 26... One? Yeah. Was it on the cover? They, put, they gave him legs. Oh! <laughs> and it was very strange like looking. That. Yeah. That's very creepy. Oh, too much. <laughs> eh. I think you get the points from just going through the levels. Mm -hmm. I think they're worth more as you go up I would the think so. They move faster, certainly. Because you went up to level 6. 5200 8-bit, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, 5200. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not for the 2600. Oh, yeah. The 2600 had like... Oh, <laughs> right into the These big elongated chiclets on the um, cover, didn't it? To excuse the, the playfield graphics that they used. I always like the interpretation that the box artist had of the game. It's yes. like 
you know, a few little pixels running around the screen. It's and like, there's what do I draw? <laughs> amazing airbrushed world that they create oh, on the front of the gorgeous. box. Gorgeous, yeah. Like, like, oh, you, oh, you, we don't have that one in the back. Which of one? Here, do we? What was the, oh, it's over on the side. The, um, is that Galaga? Oh, or? Ga uh, yeah, Galaga, uh, Galaga, Galaga, Galaga for the 7800. You can kind of see it in the corner of, of the screen. Yeah, it's but, beautiful. Uh, it just is beautiful. Um, that one's signed From, by the artist. By the, yeah. Because he it goes to PRG artist, right? every or? year. He's the same guy who did the Mega Man um, cover art, which everybody hates. Oh, really? <laughs> hates so much. It's, it is very weird and terrible. And doesn't, well, it's not terrible. Well, it is terrible. But it doesn't represent um, Mega Man game at all. Like, yeah. It just doesn't look like him. Some, I mean, that's the, that was kind of funny about oh, the God, box Oh, God, 4% left. Oh, ho, ho. did you die? You must have died. You were in the middle of the bomb. No, I don't think I did. Oh, I think it you. negates it if you finish the level. Yeah. Surprise, there isn't a game like this in the 2600. <sighs> There's a lot going on here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. It's uh, it will be challenging. Mm. That would be a job for uh, John Shampo. I can see him using like the um, the oh my god, blowing myself up. Yeah. The Robotron Robot War engine. Mm. If he was to use it, mm -hmm. that would that would work. Because you only have so many bombs, so you could you put them as I don't know. What was that noise? Oh, he exploded. It's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Yeah. Oh, did they give you less? Yeah. <gasps> and you oh ran out. Oh, my God. I have misused my bombs. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of spores to kill now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I have wasted my bombs. So I give you more mushrooms and less bombs. Yep. Oh, boy. The error says hi guys, and then hey, nostalgic man mentions the Art of Atari is a fantastic book. Yes, we have it up here. I don't want to pull it down because everything might come falling down on top of James. Do I get so. damage for walking through them? Oh, I do. Art of Atari is gorgeous. It's a beautiful book. Yeah. That's why I bought it because it's yeah. just so nice. Yeah. It's just right at the top yeah, there. I'll, I just didn't want to pull it. I'll down. get it in the next little bit. <laughs> but the, yeah, it is. It is pretty amazing. I, I think someone should create a modern game where yes. the art style is entirely in the old box art style. Oh, they. That would um, be very cool. There might be some similarly inspired games. I don't know out there, but uh, yeah. Like, I, I think um, that would be really cool. The box art for um, ro Robot um, City. Robot City. Yeah. Is very much in that vein. Yeah. And there's another one coming out by the same artist. Um, that looks looks like that, like mm. the retro art. It looks really, really good. Very cool. So I'll clump together. I think I can do this. Yeah. Rug Hasser says, beautiful book. I have it too. Mandatory, relaxing reading for any occasion. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, the early ones look like pencil art. So cool. Yeah. Yep. Right there. There. Let's get this section. Oh, oh, hold it. oh, yeah. This part could not be done on the 2600 where it's growing. There'd have to be such a huge... Oh, you could do play field. Do, 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 do. Yep. Take up a lot of memory. You have to have a lot of RAM to 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 keep track of that intricate of play field. So that would work. Yeah, you could do that level. This one, oh, run into right into it. Yeah. Crossbow. I think Tanya was suggesting that a modern game be done that uses the graphic style from the old box art as the artwork within the game. Yes. So, like, to create a modern game, like, yes. like for the Xbox oh, or the PlayStation. Is that what you mean? Yes, but have oh. it in the style of art from, like, the old box art. Like, it's oh. a very retro style of artwork. Just like Cuphead um, is using yes. the style of old yes. animation. Yes, yes. That would be, that'd be very It, it would be... <laughs> It's well, so intricate of art. Like yeah, but what, you'd have like, to have cutscenes. We've maybe? been playing Outer Worlds. I mean, like those games are extremely That's true. intricate in, in design. No, and, to... Oh, you gotta draw them towards you. Oh, oh yeah, one. I can press the button. I need you to help me. Oh, I forgot about that. That's how you get them back. Yeah. 
Should we put that on the floor and you can tap it? Yeah, uh, it's not. It's not <laughs> set up to go on the floor oh, okay. right now. Never mind. <laughs> There's lots of cab <laughs> cables that would be very, yeah. uh, very bad to do with them. That, but... I just want super breakout with astronauts, like on the 26 cent Ooh. cartridge. Ooh, yes. That would be cool. Them kind of along the bottom, pressing buttons and moving their mm -hmm. hands, like separate from the action at the top. That's totally doable. That is a big chunk. You actually get a more points, I think, the more of the dots you kill. Like, quite a bit, so. So now that they're growing fast, but you lose, this is a you good... But you lose your percent there if you don't... Yeah, you yeah. gotta watch that. I mean, you need that because otherwise... I guess it's like power. Yeah, I don't When know you run you out of power, then you can't... You don't get it back, do you? No. Oh, I better kill it. No, I don't think you're gonna be able to. I think I did it. Oh, the level's over, but you don't die when you run out of power? Maybe you don't get as many points. Oh, now you're beating my high score. <laughs> That's not fair. Only one more game. <laughs> Just one more game. That's wrong. So I want to know Can you for... be on the space bar? Oh. Okay. Ah! So slow. Oh, ow, watch ow, out. Ow, you're, ow. you're like laying on things. I'm not laying on connectors. things. Connectors. I'm not laying on connectors. What are you talking about? I'm just doing a countdown. <laughs> um, can you see me? Yep. The cat's very excited now. Hi, I'm in the cat cam. Okay, press button. Thank you. That's very exciting when it all explodes. I was going to say for all the people in the chat, I want to know what, okay, ev press it. what events they're looking forward to. Oh, they can't really hear you very well when you're there. No? You have to speak up a coming, bit. Coming... Say it again, speaking up. Can I don't know. Cat cam is now tiny cam. Yay! You just have to say it louder. I was just going to say, I'm curious what events people are looking forward to in the coming year. Be they gaming events, be they concerts, mm. stuff is kind of opening up again. And if there's anything people are really looking forward to. Mm. Yep. Because well, I'm, always, I'm always looking for new things. So. Well, I was talking in the chat before the show that we missed out on the Back to the Future concert, mm. which with the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. Mm. So I only found out about it after the fact. Yeah. But we definitely would have gone to that. There is Return of the Jedi coming up. And we went to see Empire Strikes Back, right? Yes. Uh, no, I think we saw Star Wars and we... Oh. Did we see both? We might have seen both, oh, actually. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We might have seen both. Maybe. Or did we yeah. just see one? I can't remember. We might have seen both. Yeah. But anyway, we'll probably go to Return of the Jedi. Mm. Even though that's the third favorite one. It's still fine. It's still good. <laughs> it's got lots of good stuff in it. The music's still amazing, though. Yes. I mean, that's the point of seeing the symphony play along with the movie. Okay. Oh, never mind. They ran into it. Okay, do it now. Good job. Okay, do it now. Now. They should have had it so you hold down the button. Okay, do it now. Instead of... Um, Having to press the space bar that is really inconvenient. Okay. Oh, almost. Spores now. and spores and spores. Everywhere. Oh, oh right into it's my it. last one. Was it your last one? Oh, good score. Yep. Not bad, he, level eight. He's usurped me. He's, yeah. he's taken my throne. Okay. Oh, pixel. Come on back. Very, very fun game. Yes. Uh, very unique play style. Um, highly recommended. The other two games look like a lot of fun as well. Yes. Um, so there's a retro gaming con in Columbus, Ohio in a couple of weeks. Ah. The Audacity game folks and Warren Davis, Qbert are among the guests. Nice. That's very awesome. Columbus, so, nice, nice. Some cool people to meet. Oh, thank you, Fatoko, for typing it out. Um, yeah, that is a great idea. Just make the Atari classics with the graphics that actually match the artwork on the labels and boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go to the next uh, game. Um, yeah, he does list out how the points work. Mm. Um, and end of phase points. Um, 
Oh, you, the remaining fungus is subtracted. Actually, if you run out, oh, so you, you get points you lose. less point. You lose gotcha. points. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, and you get bonus for every life that's at, uh, left as well. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So we're gonna play Demo's Underworld. Nice. Next. Enjoyed Return of the Fungi. Yeah. Or Fun Guy. Fun Guy. Yeah. These are fun guys down here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so load up the next one. Uh, how do I Left. go back? Left. Left and button. Left. There you go. Okay, which one? Demo's, Demo's Underworld. Underworld. Eight by eight bit. Teaser. Junkie. Ooh. Yeah, it's only one level, but That's all it's, good. it's enough to play. Fancy. Very love. cool music. Like the font, like the colors. There's only one level available. Zero one. <laughs> um, so this was first posted on September 16th, and this demo was posted on September 17th. Is it actually another sequel in a line of demo games? Um, Demo's Dungeon, Demo's Quest, and now Demo's Underworld. They also made Get Up and Get Up 2, which we haven't played. <laughs> you can download this in the Atari Age forums, the demo. Um, he posted it saying... Maybe, just maybe, there will be a new disc episode of Demo's Quest. So this will be the third kingdom of the five cartridge kingdoms. Wow. Uh, you may play one level of Demo's Underground in this little teaser. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, are you getting my XEG XEGS fix? Yes, I am. I'm getting it fixed right now as we speak. Um, he's uh, taken on as a project. Oh, he's like actually, yeah. actually the guy I bought... Um, the Atari 800 XL for mm, that's right. and my uh, 65XE. Um, so he is working on it like right now. He got a whole bunch of chips mm. recently mm. Um, with a, that have a bunch of different timings. It's the it's the BIOS chip okay. he thinks is bad. Oh, I see. Um, because it says it's bad <laughs> <laughs> on the on the checkout. Okay, because it has has like a, a two symbols. You know when you do the memory check screen. Gotcha. The first one is red, and that's the one that inc includes the BIOS on it. Um, and that includes the ROM as well. The first part of the ROM and then the second. Okay. FujiNet is working awesome. I was loading stuff off of somebody else's server just today. Just because I wanted to play some extra games. Um, okay. You can jump right into it because there are no instructions. Okay. Work in progress. 17th of September okay. by Thomas Schultz. 8-Bit uh, Junkie, who is in the Atari Age forums. Excellent. And uh, graphics by Tobias Prinz and, and Thomas Schultz. Schultz. And the music is by Hilton Thiessen, nice. who is Electrofish, not in the Atari Age forums. Uh -huh. uh, so, go for it. Okay, so, this Gosh. is very dark. Oh, it's so cool. What's the blue? Um, that, that gives you invincibility for a little bit, I believe. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, maybe I should play it. Oh, do you have some idea of what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, cause it's... Okay, that's okay if you, you... Yeah. So you have to get all the candy. Oh, it's so dark. So there's little flags and things, and you can walk yeah. over those to collect those. Gotcha. Why does it look so terrible and dark? Sorry, everyone. And you can go in these dark. arrows, yeah. and it automatically pushes you through. Oh, I arrows. see. Down. Um, and, and you die. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. <laughs> so if I do that, I'm protected, and I go over to this. Well, one. you're or okay. And I can actually walk through here. And get oh those. yeah. So that'd be the right thing to do. So there's uh, some fire there. Yeah. Um, What's that? Jump? Can you jump? Nope, can't jump. Oh, you picked it up though, whatever it was. Nice animation, really impressive horizontal scrolling, that's not easy. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, Dad, I know it's you. Er, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will die. And that is a teleporter. Oh, but it doesn't we, go anywhere yet. We don't have the other side uh, ready yet. That is I something. Don't think, I don't know. <laughs> I picked up something. Does teleporter work now? Interesting. There's little There's things on the fire. ground that you can clear away. Huh. You've got time and score. Hmm. I have three. 
No keys yet. So there's a flag. Hmm. A flag, you can't walk through. Oh my god, that was close. Can't walk through. Can I open that? Nope. It's rollerblades. Hmm. So I think that makes me go a little faster, maybe? Looks like it. There's a little guy in there. And I believe Bad you can guy? push him around. Oh. Okay. Oh! He's changed color. Oh! Oh, what? Interesting. He has different colors. Depending where you put him. Hmm. Oh, see. That's where the teleporter goes. Oh, I see. Because there were some people on the forums going, I have no idea how to play this game, but yeah. he did play a little bit of it, of it um, on a video. So I know to, enough to do this. So push the rock over here and push it down. And then push it into this. And it will, if you get three rocks in it, Oh. It'll open it up. There's another one. Right here. How do Did you I do accidentally that? push that over? No. I'll be able to do it. I'll get it back. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, you can push oh, it to the left, maybe. Then I can't push it down. Oh. I've screwed it up. It's all over. Oh, no. I'll... Aren't there rocks on the other side? There no. are, but you need all of them, I think. Uh, what I good could... does it give you to get in there? I'll do the rocks right away. Do not dance with the monsters. <laughs> I like I like the the snipe comments. That's that's great. Oh. What just happened? I think you ran into the I guy. I think that's a bug. Oh. See? Oh. There we go. It was gone. That was a bug. That's funny. Oh. You just did it again. I didn't even see it. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I have the suit on. I'm gonna kill myself and then not push that. Off. There we go. So let's push that first rock up here. Let's do this part first. Because things don't need to be done in order. That game reminds me of Boulder Dash. It, it, it's it, very, it, has a, it has that look this style to it, right? of it, definitely, and pushing the boulders around too. The yeah. rocks pushing things around. It has yeah, a Carl feel says, of it. I wish I had an Atari 8-bit system growing up. Yeah, it would be pretty fun. Yeah, I was really happy with the C64, but I would have been super happy with an Atari. There's some really good games for it. I'm pretty much all the same games. So... Oh, God. Did I mess up? Nope. Nope. I think he's still actually there. Is he? Well, you can still push stuff into him. Maybe run off the screen and come back. Uh, yes, that would do it. You're gonna run off the screen. Oh, okay, well, we're going in here. There's a guy in the middle. Candy! And, and an orange key. I think there was an orange door on the other far end. So now I have... It's so dark! I, I, <laughs> I do have an orange key. Oh, oh, now he's, he's gone. gone. So is he back there now? No, he's just gone. He's gone. Glitchy. You killed him, but it, I don't think he died. It's a glitch. Oh, interesting. So that is like a... It, it's a plunger that turns something on and off. Oh, it's plunged so now. Here. So there's some more rocks. Where to put them Fire. yet. What's that thing? I don't know what that thing is yet. That's how you die. That's, That's how you die. Fun. Let's go back. Oh, maybe the teleporter is now active. Captain Classic had an Atari 800 growing up. Desperately wanted an NES in 1987. <laughs> the parents wouldn't buy one for two to three years because we had so many other games already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, you know, that kind of was an issue. I get parents being like, no. We spent enough. <laughs> no, we we're spent not enough. buying you, like, seven games. If the door's open. Ah, uh, the key for the door. Yeah. Now that's a fire extinguisher. Oh. 
Maybe you can... Oh, maybe I can walk on fire. Maybe you can go through that fire now? So there's a flag that doesn't seem to change or do no. anything. I don't want to go there. Did I use up the suit already? Uh, I don't know. That, uh... I don't know what that is, but you can collect it. Can you put oh, out there's the There's a teleporter. No, it doesn't, doesn't send you in there. Oh, can I use the button now? No. Uh, it's as I said back then, parents just don't understand. That's right. <laughs> oh, got an extra candy. Oh, hmm. hmm, hmm. <laughs> yeah, my mom really wanted to spend her money on food and bills and other such silly nuts. Yeah. What a waste. Yeah. You can play, you can buy, buy games and computer <laughs> systems. And yeah. Should I Forget go on that? Your bills. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got something else. I know. Okay. Let's try to teleport in now. Nope. Nope. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Classic. Yeah, who needs food? I ate games for dinner. That's right. <laughs> so full of games tonight. Mm. Okay, there is that dude. I think what he would do is like maybe block. Mm -hmm. At the bottom now. Mm. Okay, well. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Can you get that piece of candy? Can you walk over that gray stuff from the top? Uh, nope. Nope? Nope, I cannot. Okay. There's a tiny guy there. Can't do anything with him. Mm. Maybe I can walk over the other stuff now? Nope. Button doesn't do anything yet. Mm. Maybe I need something else. So there's the teleporter. It's not active yet. I do have a fire extinguisher, so maybe I can walk on fire now. Should I touch that dude? Uh, I don't have many options left to do. Oh, there's another candy up there. Is it? I can get that. Maybe I should walk on that. Nope. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, do you push the rocks onto it or something? Oh! Yep. Oh, you got a candy. Oh. Very good. All I needed was one. Or the, are, are there other ones? Are there other things that I need to put rocks on, maybe? Awesome. Ooh, if I push any rocks to the bottom, they're just going to stay on the bottom for everything. True. So, and there is nothing on the bottom. I feel like I'm listening to end credits music. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk on this guy. Yeah. That's a monster that doesn't move. Oh, okay. Suit. Oh, do you have to start from the beginning again? Yeah. <gasps> Every it's time? Disappointing. Oh my gosh. So, I I swear when I've played through a little bit, I've gotten to that other thing, that teleporter. Mm. Oh, dancing with the monster. I don't know how to get that teleporter working. I'll, I'll try and look for that because there's skates and there's a flag that doesn't seem to do anything. Not yet, at least. There's a little thing, and then over here is the fire extinguisher. Oh, where is the fire extinguisher? No, you have to. Oh. Can't be there. Where was the fire? Oh, it's through the door. And to get the door, you have to push the three rocks. I think so. Three rocks into... That. Right? No. I did mess... Oh, I didn't mess up that one. I, oh, I have to get the key in there. Yeah. So. You have to get three ro rocks into there, and then three rocks on the other side. Yeah, this is very boulder dashy. Yes. For sure. Do one more, one more pass on this, and we'll move on. This is unfortunate. It's only one life. Well, these games explain why our generation is a higher frustration tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, True. this is old school hard. Yeah. Where you get one. Don't go down. No. One life. Mm -hmm. 
can't make mistakes. Nowadays, it's like, oh, you want to continue from two seconds back? Yeah. That is, that's a problem. That's a glitch. A glitch in my favor. <laughs> not dead okay we're done <laughs> it is just the demo maybe in the full you it get extra very, life very cool so it's got little puzzles yes. literally there's no explanation no you on have how to, to just... play this you that is called old school gaming yep trial oh, and error let's try it and see what happens <laughs> yep. hey arena foot welcome swinging in just before your bedtime yep. okay we've got one more game to play And it is Betty's Issues. Mm. If you want to select it. This is by uh, a Michael, Michael Jaskula, Mikey76. Uh, this build is from September 3rd, 2021. Mm -hmm. So a month old. 33k game. It's also made Angry Betty, which we did. I think a little bit. Mr. Blob, P. Calco, Inferno, Snowball, Tank vs. Tank, Wasteland, which we did play a tiny bit. You can download this from Mike J's website. So um, this is actually a PAL game, but it's playing fine in uh, NTSC. Um, Betty is up there locked in the tower. Um, you can't go left or right. You have to go into those doors. Oh, actually... Oh, that's Before how. we do this, um, we're going to be switching joysticks. Oh, is there a better... Because oh, so you can do the jumping with the button? This is a game Yeah. where up is jump. And I have a joystick. <laughs> yes. That is bought specifically for games where up, up is, is jump, jump. Yeah. because it can assign the second button to up. Mm. It is magical. So I bought it for all those single button db9 cons uh, consoles yep. and computers like the uh, commodore 64 and it is awesome all you have to do is remember when you're going through the menus <laughs> that up is jump what is it yep that one this one i i, I realize you have to push and release oh and hit this? it too fast oh it doesn't yeah it doesn't like it okay that should be up his jump, like the second button. Nope. <laughs> Just one second. Continue jump. Hmm. Why is it constantly jumping? Is it depressed? I don't mean like emotionally depressed, <laughs> like. Is it depressed? It I may be upset. Ah. Uh. Okay. Up is jump still? I sw no? swapped it, so let's go back. No, continue jump. Let me see. It's like... Com com mm. I think something has gone wrong with Awry. this. Awry. Let's reboot it when it's in normal mode. And then switch it over once it's on. Mm -hmm. Oops. Up for jump. Oh, I've had this. We had this issue last time. I think we did. And I don't know why it's doing that. It's like continually on. Is it the button? We're going to have to deal with the other joystick. That's okay. Yep. That's all. That's auto fire you're switching on. Nope, it's not. There's only one button. Yeah, that's true. And it only switches to up. I don't know why. Mm. Okay, watch out, cat. Watch out. Come on. Arena Foot says, don't sit on the cat. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I don't know why it does that. You'll just have to deal with the up jump. Too bad we didn't get to use our special joystick. Um, there's uh, no instructions for this either. I don't know why these games don't have instructions. Betty's Issues is a simple arcade game. Uh, Betty screwed up again. She locked herself in the tower. You have to help her find the keys. That's the whole instructions. Oh, 
No, keep going to the right. That guy's really hard. His hitbox is massive. Mm. I don't know why. Hold on, sweetheart. Um, so this was... Uh, I got alerted to this on the Atari Age forums by Mr. Fish. He posted, For those who don't frequent the 8-bit programming forum, the following was found in the Mad Pascal Games thread. Ooh, this is really slow. Yeah, the screens where there's two... Oh! Yeah two creatures and you move in some situations it gets really slow we don't know we don't need no stinking instructions yep we don't nope basically the top right is how much health oh. you have you only have one life and you're almost dead and the left is how many dots you've collected nobody's figured out what the dots no, you're getting hit Am I? and you're getting hit yeah getting hit uh. That's okay. <laughs> I was losing so much. Yeah. Might as well restart. Help. Um, and Beeble Brock says, I've been playing this great little game on and off. Great colors and feel. Gotta say I'm finding it a challenge. Especially as you only get one life and it's very easy to deplete energy. As soon as I make any real progress, I find I've almost run out of all energy and then die on the next screen. So those little dots. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I'll show you when you're Well, I got them. Yeah. No, there's more. There were? Yep. Where? On the right-hand side. Oh! Lots of dots. But nobody knows what they're used for, so you don't have to get them. Get those. Get those. No, don't jump up. Just get them. There you go. You don't get them. You have to jump on them. Nope. Don't lies. you? Lies. Nope. It's lies. Oh, you made it over the worm. That worm is the hardest creature in the whole game to jump over, by the way. Um, uh, by the way, I know there are bonus hearts and lives to collect. Don't touch anything. You have to be so careful. I don't careful. think there's anything down here. I was down it here was before. a door, and you have to switch that switch to open the door. Oh. So you have to find another way to get the switch. It's hard to figure out games without instructions or on a computer. You have so many keys to push. Yeah. If there are keys, we won't know. But I don't think there are keys on this. And he d um, I also got stumped a fair few times on with where to go next. Again, all the parts of the gameplay. I'm not 100% clear on the top left bar and what it indicates. Nothing specifically. It's mostly about the things you've collected. So, uh, Phaser Cat Games. I've been thinking about trying to put together a simple 50 to 100 fat platformer engine, and this is pretty inspiring. Oh, great. Yeah, because they share a lot. The 8. Help is on the way, it says on the bottom. It's very reminiscent of um, British games, where every room had a title to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, sweetheart. Up, up to the left, up to the left. I am trying. There we go. Ugh, that's rough. Yep. Got a bit. Oh, <laughs> you're almost halfway down on uh, one creature. It slows down though the jumping too. It's very slow. Ooh. This guy's hard to jump, but you have to do it. Let's push the easy button. E yes, EXO on the 70 and 100 has titles on each screen, too. Yes, that is correct. This one is not quite the same because it has repeated uh, names. But, like, for the European games, it would have a different name for each room. Seriously? Um, Mr. Fish replied, the person who originally alerted and posted about it. Oh, you missed one. Um, the collision detection is somewhat tough on the player, but the overall difficulty of proceeding past most characters is relatively easy. I think it rewards the more slow and careful approach, as there's no timer or loss to the player for taking more time. I didn't have time have time to figure out exactly what benefit there is to collecting the little circles, but I did make it to the blue dragon looking thing. And I think it may relate to the power of your shots against it. Uh, or possibly how many shots you will get. I didn't play it again after that to prove it, and I wasn't thinking about it at the time I met it. Because I was too busy trying to kill it. I might play some more today, see what's going on with that aspect. By the way, I got to the dragon thing relatively quickly. So I'm guessing there's more beyond that. Otherwise, the game would be way too short. It's a bitey, bitey guy. 
The game was a little puzzling uh, to me at first too, but I think that adds interest. One thing I will say that there are multiple ways of getting to some areas. Carl G says, I never identified that as a regional thing. Um, I always saw it more in the British computer scene. So you're not playing again? No, you okay. can play. You can play. Um, unlike the Spectrum games. Yeah, there's no music for this game. It's just sound effects. Reminds me of Montezuma's Revenge at this part. Yeah. Yes. And I think somebody... Lava, Montezuma's re Revenge. Somebody posted that as well in the... Or just VH said C's latest game. <laughs> oh, I got touched. Oh, yeah. Skulls. Um, the... So you can keep reading there. Mm -hmm. What were you reading? <laughs> I see you're paying careful attention. Uh, so the, the original, it was originally posted in the Atari online forum, okay. which is in Polish. Um, so I've got translations. Uh, uh, oh my God. That was terrible. So I like to play and enjoy it. Diagonal jumps are not a thing, which makes it uncomfortable for me to play. Um, I do not catch myself. I do not understand. Uh, no, not reading it. No, it doesn't make any sense what you have written here. I didn't write it. Google no, did. you you translated it. It makes no sense at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do not catch myself as an Atari in games for this equipment, so I allow myself to such criticism. Smiley face. <laughs> Seriously, by the control and detection. Strange for me. I do not see the phenomenon of this game. Phenomenal. This is the stork blob. <laughs> okay. Oh, Google Translate. It's good stuff. Uh, not a lot of people helping them out with their Pol <laughs> Polish translations, I'm guessing. And then someone, Mike Katari, replied, No problem. I can make you versions with diagonal shooting and jumping to fire, but I am afraid that such a solution would be completely unplayable especially on the pad. So what there <laughs> what is essential the person is complaining about the jumping. Yeah. Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, you got it for life. <gasps> I went oh, where you did not. Oh, smart. There's lots of places to go. Oh, right through. Right through the butterfly. I don't see how butterflies can cause you so uh, much grief. Everything does. All things are equal in this game. Maybe you can't jump over from that edge. Can you? Nope. I think... Oh, no, you can't. No. You can only go up. Yep. I forgot. Or fall down. Oh, good job. Oh. Actually, there's not much point going over here except for those little things. Mm. I guess it's easier going back this way. Can you jump up or no? Uh, where? Like over to the uh, left? Yeah, but meh. There's nothing there. Oh, there isn't. And he made jumping. Oh, Ooh, that's that's... yay! Open the door. He made jumping the up because there's a uh, shooting later on. Apparently makes sense. Oh, oh so my cute. god! Oh my god! I'm almost dead. It's so cute. What are you doing, Atari? You're a silly cat. And it. <laughs> and I died. I like the little hit, shock, dust, whatever effect. Mm. What is it? Uh, I'm looking for treats, you bad little cat. Oh, is it tree time? <laughs> no. No? Probably soonish. I don't know. Probably soon. How much time till treat time? Let's see. How do you get quickly to that fish area? Treat so time. I don't know. Maybe you can do it right now. Does it usually count down? Well, you click it. Oh. But I don't want to click it. I want oh. someone else to click it. I won't mm -hmm. click it. Uh, it might not be ready. I don't know. <laughs> I think you can click it and it'll tell you. Yeah, but then it'll click you it. You might actually do it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No. That's that's like liking your own post. Like that's you right. don't you don't 
use your own ah, bits on your ah, own live ah, stream. That just no. seems that seems bad bad form. It seems bad form. Definitely bad form. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like going by this guy. Oof. At least they give you extra health. Mm. Oh. Maybe I should get all these right now. Getting past that butterfly I like is the, not um, easy. I like the, the little the sounds. Sounds are really yeah. cute, yeah. Oh, God. Good job. I think I hit my head on the worm, though. Did you? I think so. Hi. What's up? Uh, oh. The colors look really good for a PAL game being on an NTSC system. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I should jump it. Oh, that's we not would too forgive bad. you if it meant the cat got treats. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, that is the goal. That is the goal. We can give them went treats last anytime. time. I think I went this way. It's a lot easier. I went that way last yeah. time. I didn't go up, though. Oh, no. Oh, you have to go, you have to go you have to up. Jump? to the right which is yeah. not obvious and then jump down yeah and then jump down what's that cage you can't get to well oh. you have to move quickly oh and there's the heart yep which i need very soon yeah but not quite yet mm. not quite yet i'll get mm. this stuff first and then i'll get the heart Oh, oh, oh. oh it's fell okay. Through, fell through the crack. Look at those wormies. Oh, oh. God. We're more like a caterpillar than a Actually, worm. it doesn't matter because the heart's here. Um, and then where do I go? I go down, right? To the left, or? To the left, and there's a switch. I should have done that first. Oh, Damn oh, it. oh, no, no, jump, no. Oh, oh my God. If you I, sit there, you lose life. You lost head, all your life there. My head was stuck under it. So oh, I was trying really? to jump up, up, mm. up, and I was hitting my head, and now I'm going to die. Yeah. Because I've don't got even know how one you get down there lip now. left. Piss me off. Oh, no. To play it again, because I'm going to die. I, in two seconds, the next thing I hit, I'm dead. And I am going to die because it's going to be the worm. I'm going to hit my head. Oh, how do you... I didn't. Around that here. Side? Can you swim? No, no, no. I think you lose life, actually. Oh, maybe not. Should be refreshing me. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. Uh, okay. Try again? Yes. Oh, there's a left. He's too large to jump over. Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. I feel like those gems should give you like a little bit of hard pack or something. Um, it's but, a separate. I mean, it is a separate meter, game. but maybe you get some super power. I think it's for shooting. Oh, when you get. When you get all of them, you can shoot. Oh, Jesus I press up. I know it's hard. This is not easy. I don't know why the other joystick's not working. <laughs> wish it was it's not too bad though no it's not too bad you get used to it the meter up there has a lightning bolt for the logo yeah yeah which indicates that it's for power for something so this is where you go right instead right. of down oh no you go up to the right or down oh there to throw the switch yeah oh my god oh 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 ah <laughs> need that heart yeah i do Might as well get that first so i'm out of energy very soon as long as I don't hit get stuck under that thing again.
switches to the left. It's hard. It's so it hard. hard. It's so there we go. Now can I get that going down? Uh, I don't is there know a way how you down? get there. Maybe a it's from there. the left. There's a whole thing there. Yeah, but maybe it's from the left. Do you know that you have to go from right. the left to the right, maybe? Right. Like That's you, dead end. So. Yeah, you have to go back up, yeah. but maybe you have to... So I don't think we've encountered that door. No, because I don't think you can go to the right. Not yet. Or do I have to go there? No, no, I don't think so. Or maybe you do. Yeah, to get back, yeah. you do. Get dinged by the worm. So the movies we watched. Oh yes, Darren Aronofsky Film Festival. So we did the first um, section of it. A week before lockdown in 2020. Early March. Early March and like within, I don't know. Uh, days. Days. They locked us all down. We weren't allowed to leave leave the house. So. We saw the first, what, three films? Which was Pi... Requiem uh, for a Dream. Requiem for a Dream, and what was the last one? The Fountain. The Fountain. Yeah, terrible. The um, Fountain is his worst movie. Yeah. It's it's just, it kind of doesn't work. Like, it's... It doesn't make sense. Yeah. A lot of it. Um, And it, it's very slickly done in a way that's Looks very... Beautiful. um Here it is. This is where the door was feels almost animation-y like uh yeah anyway not great so we finally got to the last four which was the wrestler yep black swan noah and mother yep um all really good films in their own way i think God um damn it i didn't mean to get that heart i fell down oh i was almost full i was almost full it's okay. Oh, there's a worm. Yeah, there's always a worm. Ugh, it always dings me. Okay. Um. So, oh, ooh. can I shoot? No. Is that a gun that falls from the ceiling? What? Oh, that's lightning. There's one that falls really close. Are you shooting it? Ah. Uh, pick up and shoot. Well, that's not too bad. No. Dodge it. It's not too bad. Just, ooh. What? Is that it? Where's Can you my... shoot more? Nope. nope. You need more. How do you I'm get out. more? I'm out. You haven't gotten That's them all. That's why. Yeah. I'm out, I'm out of bolts. Yeah. No more bolts. I, uh... How close was he to dying? Very close. So you need more, more. Um, so don't go fight him you until, more you're, gems. until you need you're more ready. gems. Until you're ready. Well, he might still have the same heart level. You probably oh, just you need will. to find yeah. the rest. Right? Yeah. And I fell in the pit. Oh, yep. Atari Twenty Six Hundred saw Mother at the cinema. Yeah, so did we. So did we. Um, was, uh, first time it was like, what is happening? Yeah. What is going on? This yeah. is weird. It is this such is... a weird film. But um, well, okay. So starting with the wrestler. I don't know what what of his films do you think what do you think was his best film? Uh, Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, is that your favorite? That's your favorite. Hundred percent favorite. Yeah. Second one is The Wrestler. I I actually I like Requiem for a Dream, but it is just such a devastating film to watch. <laughs> it's really hard to watch. That's the point. <laughs> I mean, they're all kind of in the same have a lot of the same themes. Ooh, I don't think I've gone down here. Have I? Yeah, I've gone down here. Can't um, get that. But I actually do think the wrestler is one of his best films because it's oh, so yeah. simple in some best. ways yeah. uh and it's not it's not like a super slick film it feels very realistic and it is raw kind of 100 percent realistic no dreams no is that real yeah none of that and um a lot of humor too like yes. his i wouldn't call any of his films really funny <laughs> no but the wrestler is very funny in places so i actually think that's one of his best and i really liked <laughs> black swan too which i had never seen and I i'm liked, glad i got a chance to see it i like black swan less this time did you than last time um i think oh there's more on the left yeah maybe i haven't been here there was much? more on the left you, yeah, you missed all yeah the, i'm the going gems. this way first yeah 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 
I've seen mother, a lot of symbolism, Requiem for a Dream deals with addiction. Yeah, and it's just really harsh. Like, it's really hard to watch. It's really oh, depressing. Um, yeah. I mean, so, so are a lot of the other films. Yeah. We haven't found that switch. No. Well, you have to get down and around, so I guess the question is, how do you get down and around? That's a good question. Ah! No, he, you're not safe there. Nothing to do here. No. Uh, um, but Mother, interestingly, after we watched it, we started reading a bunch of, like... Like after the first time we watched reviews it. Reviews and criticism and talking about the themes in it. And now that I've seen it again, I liked it a lot more. Way more. Um, having a bit of knowledge of what the two characters in it are supposed to represent, it made so much more sense. All the characters are supposed to represent everything in it, right? Well, yeah, and, and he loves biblical themes, so there are obviously bib biblical tie-ins. But yeah. um, anyway, I don't want to talk too much <laughs> about that, but... I really enjoyed it a lot more than the first time I saw it where I had no clue what was going on. Because yeah, it, it made was, no sense. Because I thought it was like, oh, this is literal. Those are people doing people things. Yeah. And it's like, no, no. No, it has nothing to no, do with that. it has nothing to do with yeah. those people. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's yeah, it's really interesting. Um, but I really like The Wrestler. Yes. I still think that's one of my favorites. Um, and yeah, Black Swan was really good too. Yep. Um, Noah's good. Better than I thought it was going to be for a film that's about Noah's Ark. <laughs> yes. Like, I was not... I didn't have very high expectations, and it is actually a really... Um, oh, Jesus Christ, this is so hard. Cause you have to really right interesting film. It is, yeah. Thinking thinking in terms of, like... Obviously, it's it's made thinking in terms of the characters and the, the toll doing what Noah does, you know, building the yeah. Ark and everything that... that the toll it would have on him as a human being and just just interesting yeah, yeah. it just i thought it was well done very well done well acted i have to get all the tots yeah all so that them. was that was our weekend <laughs> yep um they, they were all worthwhile worthwhile seeing. watching all yep. of them and and it's interesting to see them all in a row because you really see mm. his progression his, or not his even his progression his like the themes he likes to sort of highlight addiction perfectionism being yep. obsessed with things obsession yeah um all of it is in all of his films yeah um and one of his short films recently was put online mm -hmm. um it's terrible but uh, oh my god this game is i, I brutal. mean it's it's like a, a student film essentially yeah it was like his master's thesis or something yeah it was his third short film yeah not good. Yeah. It's not a good film. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, uh, Darren Aronofsky, Cafe Man 2D. Yeah, Black Swan director. Yeah. Um, Everybody knows Black Swan. <laughs> yeah, it does slow down when there are a lot of moving objects, when there's like two... More than two, or when that uh, swimming dude, which is made up of two, I'm guessing. Yeah. Ugh, nothing. It's just nothing here. Don't need to go that far. Yeah. yeah. If you're not moving, they go fast. If you're moving, they go... Yeah. <laughs> they get really slow. It's a, it's a, it is a hard platformer. Yeah. Like surprisingly it's definitely, hard. definitely challenging. It's because of the precision you need yeah. in everything. And you have to... I don't know how to get to that part yet. Maybe uh, Where the second you have switches. To go down, like there's there there must be I've a path everywhere. down somewhere. He's definitely out. out there, like oh yeah, out there, like David Lynch. <laughs> yeah, no, he is definitely a, a more abstract, arty filmmaker. Yeah, but so not for everyone. Like mother is out there. Way out um, there. Well, the fountain is way. The out fountain there. is way out there. Um, mother actually is like okay. Mother is out there too. Yep. But the wrestler and Black Swan's a bit out there, but the wrestler is is probably the most grounded. And Requiem for a Dream too is yeah. not too. I don't think that's too crazy. Um, no. Nope. Because it's just crazy stories. people's lives. Yeah, so. it's it's sad and devastating and all that but it's yeah. it's people it's a bit more grounded i think yeah from what i remember i think i should go do this part first yeah 
Anyway, we watch Protozoa, yes, which his production company is Protozoa Productions or whatever it is. Yep. Um, and that was his student film, his like master's thesis student film. It's bad news. <laughs> well, it's it's not great like most student films, but there's elements in it that you that he carried over into his other films and it's kind of yeah. like quentin tarantino who had a terrible black and white like student not even student no. film but film that he did well he was working at the at the, the video, video store. store it took and him it, many many years to make it was awful we watched what we could of it it was terrible but even in that you could see dialogue that ended up in other films yeah. and like concepts that ended up in other films it's super interesting to see how they have these little these little ideas that yeah. they end up carrying over into um other film concepts yeah and, and that's what that's so neat that's what happened with aronofsky and his his short film yeah too. yeah that's you can kind of see it you can't perfectly go through everything you just have to kind of manage <laughs> your, your best. health mm -hmm. as best you can so it, if you go down into the left or to the right there, is that how you get to the other guy? It's how you get to the... The bad dude at the end? Yeah. Not full uh -huh. of... Um, well, no, because there are places you haven't been yet. So when yeah. you go here, you go across but here. But look, it, it's not going to fill up. Watch. Oh, it did. It did fill up. Almost. Almost. You're it's still short, though. By one. But is that even enough to kill it? Do you have to go back uh, another time? Oh, there's more so maybe now i have like enough like, now you have I'm enough absolutely now full. you're full did i was i not full maybe you weren't don't hop down there <laughs> <laughs> just yell at it that'll get it going the right direction maybe you weren't oh i didn't even touch it you oh, hit the, the you hit the the hit green box thing that's a flower no, hit... ab above. Didn't you hit above? No, no, oh, no. really? The hitbox on those worms are like that big. Uh... Drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's no Uwe Boll. <laughs> Nobody's Uwe Boll. Ah. Oh. Did I lose it? No. no. Oh, <gasps> Jesus Christ. It's only the low. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. That was a, a taller one that hit me. What? What are you supposed to do with that? You... I don't know. You, they were I, passing oh, over you die. before, weren't they? Oh, I'm going to die. They yeah, were. you are. I swear they were... Oh, <gasps> no. <sighs> Should I do one more? Do one more. Jesus. You got the time. The enemy's bolts are so dark. They were. I, I know. I can barely see you them. You can, but they're very hard to see. I think this way is nothing. Yeah. It's just a dead end. I think but I was full. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not a dead end. Okay. Um, <clears throat> nowhere near. Nowhere near. And it still touched me. You heard it, right? Mm -hmm. I heard Bip. It. Mm -hmm. Does he spit at me? I don't know. Maybe. This, this goes nowhere. No, you I have go to hit here? a. Don't you have to hit a switch or something? No. That's where oh, the switch is. Oh, it's just is. showing you that you have to hit that to open that door. But I've never seen that. You Maybe can't jump on top of. Can you go up? Is there something we're missing? It's not, no. It's not Are you sure you can't jump on top of the water fountain or? No, I jumped up there last time. No. Can't do it. So yeah, you. The can't cats jump are staring at us, people. Yeah, someone they feed want the their cats. Treats. They want their treats. Use up your bits. That's why you have this command. It's your time. <laughs> it's your time to shine. Make these cats happy. Yeah. So I had full power. I like the character's hair. Is it? Is it yeah. hair? Is it a cap? A I'm not hat. sure. It's very cute. So if I jump like this, it goes down. It's the same color as his shirt. There's only four colors. Mm. Oh! It's treat time. Yum, yum, it's yum, yum. Treat time. Atari 2600. Atari 2600, dude. Atari 2600, dude. It's treat time. It's treat time. <laughs> All right, kitties. Who's going first? Should I move that joystick? Maybe.
Just push stuff out of the way. Make it cleaner. Yeah? Are you hungry? Are you a hungry cat? Are you hungies? Yay! Yay! <laughs> One treat for you. Thank you. No, you're not going to go for it? Oh, you're a silly cat. It's not even doing it? Oh, first time I got it up. Got it up above that butterfly. Oh, got it. You're going to hit it? Are you going to hit it? Kittens! Hit, ring the bell. You're not oh, very enthusiastic. On. Good Ooh, kitty. Should I get more health? Yeah, I probably should. Is this the direction? No. One more up. No, you have to hit the bell. <laughs> you just tap the side. Oh, no. Ding, ding. A little Come harder. A little, little harder, harder sweetie. It's like what? There Good you go. Kitty. Good, Good kitty. kitty. They definitely have the hearts laid out in the right spots. There you go, kitty. There you go. Ah! Oh no. Up. Yay! <sighs> One more? He says, more, 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 please. I'll give you some more. I'll give you a little bit more. Oh, I almost jumped completely over him. Hmm? Atari's trying to play the bell like a piano key, experimenting with the volume. Yes. Soft touch. Yeah. Loud. Yeah. Multiple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. He's got a whole repertoire of, uh, of sounds he can make with the bell. He's got a side hit. A little harder. A little harder, this sweetie. pretty janky. Yeah. With its movements. <laughs> oh, no. Still good. Good kitty. Good cat. Oh, I didn't have to. Didn't. Didn't flip the switch yet. Not even, not even close. Not even close. Oh no, you didn't flip the switch. Can no. You, what's it's... up there? Oh, it doesn't matter. That's better. Where's the switch? Good kitties. Where's the switch? Good kitties. Play the bell like a piano key. It's, Where's the switch? It's, Did I mess? No. It's down. To it's... the left. Oh yeah, I didn't go here. Now I have like no bloody hell. Uh, you have to do that first. Yes, you do. While you're down here, then you get the heart, which I don't have now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to almost die, so I'm gonna have to get that extra heart that I don't re that I shouldn't have got. Should have well, to save for okay. myself. <sighs> Start over. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm almost oh. dead. Oh, you might make it to the heart. Mm. I know you don't have a lot of. <laughs> that worm is the hardest character in the game. Yes, agreed. Except oh. for the dragon. And I'm gonna get hit here, and I'm gonna die. Because you can't. Oh. Mm. The water sounds really good. Yeah. So, I'll have it a little bit low here. I always disturb like when it suddenly says, welcome to the chat room. It's like, what? <laughs> did, it, did it reset? Is this a shortcut? Oh, it is. Oh, I did jump that worm. I'll go up here. No. There's nothing there, right? I always no, forget. No, there's nothing there. It's just showing you that stupid thing. Yeah. But, like, there must be something. It's later. It's after the dragon for sure. Yeah, maybe. Wrecking my stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for. Drinking your beer and wrecking your stuff. <laughs> Not my beer. <laughs> <laughs> you can drink all the beer you want. <laughs> Stinky beer. 
Okay, this time I'll get it. I'll get it for sure. Oh, not like that. It's kind of good that it slows down. <laughs> Makes it easier for timing. Always get hit on this. Ugh. Always. Either coming or going. So what's to the left of that? Left of what? There's nothing there. Is that where you just came from? There's you nothing left. There's a big wall there. Oh, sorry. I mean, to the right. You just came from the right. Uh, I came from the right from above. Okay, and then what's the right below? Uh, the right below is where you go to get past the shark. Mm. Which I'm going to do right now. Because that whole area... Mm. You have to do first. Oh. Really? Oh, mean. You have to jump as far as you can. Actually, you go down here first. <gasps> you need to pay attention to what you're doing. You needed that heart. And now I'm in trouble because I have yes. to go get the heart. I'm going to die because I only have one things. life left. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and well and the worm is going to kill me. One tiny bit of life left. Mm. How Still can I going? Be... Still going? How can I be doing worse? <laughs> You're just getting frustrated. That's usually what happens. Don't think I have to go here at all. No, you don't. You keep going there. Don't go there. Okay. It's completely useless. I don't even think there's little gems there. What hit? <laughs> no, there's no gems. I really want to beat that dragon. All I want to do. Has anybody else played this game? <laughs> Yet? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller. Bueller. It's quiet. The chat's quiet. Yeah. There's like a minimum number of hits that you have to take doing doing the level so i'm trying not to replicate mm. spots and just go through them once jesus okay the ghost reminds me of the goblins ad the goblins from mcdonald's ads from the 70s <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Eddie's issues are becoming James's issues. They're, they are my <laughs> it issues. It took away, but I, I tried just once. Mm. Okay. So he has <laughs> His given, it a, with it. given it a go. Okay. You have to jump really far, and you just make it past the shark. Yeah. Don't jump really far. You're not going to make it. Okay. I'm going to go to the left, flip the switch, except I'm not going to fall on that bubbling dirt. Waste my life on it. <laughs> ah, now I can do the right. I've got a lot of health, so it's, mm. maybe I won't by the time I get there. That's fine. Sharker piranha. Yeah, Hard it's to say. more piranha-like, but it's a big piranha, so... What? What? What hit? What part? What part hit? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Where I didn't even ready? hit it! <laughs> the hitbox is frustrating. Giant bloody hitboxes. I swear you're hitting the roof. It's, it's making the noise when you hit the top, <laughs> not... It's weird. No. Rubble, rubble. <laughs> That's the noises I'm making is rubble, rubble. <laughs> no, okay. from the McDonald's ads. I know. <laughs> but anyway. Oh. oh. Cat, do you mind? <gasps> Jesus Christ. 
Oh, there's so much anger. <laughs> ah. Atari 2600 says there should be a patch for completing this game. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh my god. You can't uh, jump. No, never mind. I almost need that heart now. You do? I might as well, because if yeah. I get hit... I agree. Good job. So I have full energy. Yeah. I have full life. Unfortunately, kind of wasted the half of yeah. a life getting there. <sighs> okay. Hopefully the bullets are like when I got there the first time. Mm. Where they were uh, just above my head. Right? Cause That's just weird. Jumping those... Bullets you, that are just going to yeah. hit my head is going to be very hard. Nostalgic says you can do it, James. Faith, I think you can. Oh, and of just course, be I'm going to waste. Be uh, careful on the uh, caterpillar with the huge hitbox. I did it! Oh my god, <laughs> crazy! I swear you're hitting the top. And then coming back down. Quick? No, it, you're you're hitting your head on no. the. No, I swear. I, Maybe. I there's something weird happening there. Anyway. Okay, it's dragon time. Okay, pixel, moral support. Come on, purr away, purr away. Purr, purr, purr. Purr, purr, purr. Calm down, calm down, squish that. You can nope. do it, James. You can do it. Oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the screen. Oh, I threw it the wrong way. God damn it. Oh my god! Yeah! I even threw one the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. And look at your hearts. Oh, Didn't yeah, I got hit, hit once. Excellent, good or job. Or none at all, maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice. GG! Yay! I have a key and I dance on the blood of my enemies. <laughs> Smush, 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 smush. Look at the, the glass, the stained glass work. It looks so Isn't good. Isn't it great? That's, I was beautiful. just thinking the same thing. Like, that background looks amazing. Okay, what Can you go right? Us? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. This is, like, the <gasps> second part. Spiders. Wow, that was, like, me mean, but... Did you see the message it gave when you beat him? It was pretty funny. No, no. I didn't even see it. What did it say? Oh, I, I was too that. relieved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to pull these down? Mm. Can you jump across them? No. Can I jump onto that? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Ah! <gasps> really? Really? Is that necessary? Oh, well there you there. There's that switch. You have to run into it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> run there you go. So sensitive. That is terrible. You go up the right-hand side of that ladder, I didn't get hit, but no. if you go up the right-hand side of the ladder, you get hit almost instantly. Mm. Terrible. Luckily, I've reacted. Oh, my God. Oh, it said, hey, hey, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't like those glowing eyes. Oh, is that a heart? Yeah, there's a heart there. Ooh, I don't want to touch it. No, you might want to come back for it. You might have to go all the way back out and around, too. So. Oh, boy. That's my suspicion. Some nasty oh, platforming. Pointy. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You have to make every jump perfect or you're going to fall into the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to go back for that heart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, this is a hard game. I can't imagine. Oh, my God, you just have enough time. And dead. Oh no! <laughs> well, you got past you got past the boss. Okay. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. It is. I think that's pretty good. Oh my I god, that game! <laughs> I think that's a pretty that's a pretty hard hard game. Yep, it is. Not very even hard. any invincibility frames. Exactly. <laughs> invincibility exactly. frames. Exactly. You need a couple of a couple of seconds of yeah running. running. Dead with a key. Yep. Yeah. The keys in that uh, dirt. Lava stuff. I don't know what it is. Almost threw that controller. Oh. I feel like throwing it, but it's such a good controller. Jesus, I don't want to. Betty and her issues. Yeah. yeah, it's a long way to. I don't know how much further the game is, but 
Probably several maybe, levels. I don't know. That's probably the key to unlock that gate. And you maybe that's the last part. Or, I don't know, it goes into another. Is Betty worth it at this point? <laughs> in the instruction, it says she locked herself in the tower. She <laughs> locked herself Betty's in the tower. Betty's on her own. <laughs> Betty, um, she needs to learn how to lockpick is what yeah, Betty needs yeah, to do. Yeah, I agree. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll send her some lockpicks and practice yeah Practice. some youtube just set, get her YouTube a phone, tutorials a youtube tutorial and, and she can lock watch picks. the lock picking lawyer yeah exactly <laughs> um so we've got some really good games coming uh shows coming up mm -hmm. uh tom on friday not tomorrow uh we've got intellivania it's in television day oh yeah yeah and what else i'm gonna do is show off my intellivision collection at the same time oh yeah good yeah. stuff yeah so i'll uh dig out all Where my stuff is it? yeah uh, it's in the other room. Oh, okay. Uh, got some boxes. Got some loose games. Got an Intellivision 2. Got an extra Intellivision. Mm. I've got the RGB Intellivision. Mm. I've got some uh, add-ons. So I'll, I'll bring out uh, all my Intellivision stuff. I wish Friday was tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was wishing Friday was tomorrow when I said it was tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Is that as good as Pennsylvania? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Um, also, I have uh, Jump King Jr. in the box. So we'll be playing two retail games, homebrew games, and taking a look at my collection and debuting the Intellivision RGB, that crossbow uh, upgraded. Mm. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, then on the 15th, we're going to be playing another new 8-bit game. It is the brand new. It should be released by then. They said... It'll be on the 13th or shortly after. Okay. Um, Prince of Persia. Never made it to the Atari 8-bit system. Okay. It is an, a, an older game. Yeah. Um, that was released on a bunch of systems, but yeah. never on the Atari 8-bit. Oh. Um, it's got cool. kind of rotoscoped it's, uh, movement. It's like Karateka. Um, that, but I know what rotoscoping is. Yeah, it's it's got very fluid, nice-looking movements. Okay. Um, and somebody's done an amazing job of porting it to the Atari 8-bit. Um, so that will be not this Friday, but next Friday. Mm, um, okay. That'll be with Darcy. Uh, it's just astounding. We'll have to play it on an emulator, unfortunately, because yeah. you need 128K of RAM oh. for it. And, and you need to do major upgrades to put oh, in I see. 128k of RAM on any of the systems. I'll eventually do that, but not right now. Yep. Um, so we will be playing through emulator. It doesn't matter. It was a good emulator. Um, then on Halloween, which is coming up at the end of the month, it'll be on a Friday. It'll be with Tanya, actually. It's supposed to be with Darcy, so but excited. he's busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any suggestions for costumes? Costumes. Oh, yes, we're asking for costume suggestions. We're trying no, to no, 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 no. We can, we can we figure can figure out a out? costume. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say games, but you already kind of. Oh, we've got all the that. games. We're good with games. Yeah, now. you've got the games all filled in. So uh, that's good. No, 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 we'll figure out a costume. One thirty XE. I, I think did that come with a one twenty eight K? I think it did. Uh, if it's got one twenty eight, it should. Mm. Or up is Cubert. Yeah, yeah. Just orange. Yeah, just have the, the, and the a big the nose. Thought, thought bubble coming out the side too. Yeah. Or just the speaking bubble. Speaking yep. bubble. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so there, crossbow answered. One thirty XE. Yeah. I don't have a one thirty XE. I have a sixty five mm. XE, which has sixty four K. Um. Yes. So on Halloween, not also we're we're going to be dressed up as something. Uh. Hopefully something good. Yeah. We'll I hope see. so. Yeah. Uh, we have an exclusive debut of Mick Muse's new game. Okay. Uh, he did, uh, what is it, Cat Catacomb? Deep Stone Catacomb. Remember that game? Oh, Where yes. Guy with the sword yeah, and yeah, get yeah. little coins and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, defeat yeah. the dragon. So this is his second game. It is somehow Halloween or scary related. So we have the exclusive debut of his new 2600 game. Mm. Very exciting. That We'll be playing that first. Uh, and it's an exclusive Secret World premiere. So nobody will know what it is until we play it. Mm. Baby Toad with Diaper. I actually saw a hairy guy dressed that way at Replay FX. I won't be dressing as that. <laughs> uh, uh, coming up in December, 
We also have an, another exclusive Secret World premiere of Muddy Funster's new game. Okay. Uh, and we'll also be interviewing him at the same time about his new game. Very cool, very cool. At uh, some point, we'll also have the exclusive Secret World premiere of M.K. Smith's new game. Lots of uh, world premieres coming up. This is cool. Also an interview with him as well. Awesome. Yep. Okay, I like it. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Very nice. Um, yep. So a lot of good game, a lot of good shows coming up. I don't know when uh, the M.K. Smith one will be. It's whenever he's done. Yeah. Um, but the Muddy Funster is in December That's at very some exciting. point. And That's I'm also exciting. planning another interview show as well. And it'll be like a, it'll be like a spotlight. On interview some show. Yeah, an okay. Atari 8-bit people. Oh, nice. Okay. We'll see if they want to do it. Yeah. Or at least uh, showcase some games. Yeah. yeah from yeah. some... From if some not, developers. I'll just be playing their games. If yeah. they don't want to do it, um, we'll, we'll be running through their games. Yeah. Because uh, some people don't like going on camera. And, and at worst, I could uh, write out some questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So lots of great stuff coming up very soon. Um, so I want to thank everybody who tuned in today. Mm -hmm. Caffman 2 d Gretums. Hi, Gretums. Hey. Schmendrick the Magician. <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm like, I, I have a feeling I should know who Schmendrick the, the Magician is. Yeah, but... sounds like somebody should yeah, know. Yeah, you're just copying him. <laughs> and yeah, that's why we have Google. That's right. Paste and go. Oh, I don't know. Where's that from? It's uh, from the oh, last Oh, The Last unicorn? unicorn. Oh my gosh, that's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. So it's a, based oh, on a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, last... it's been a long time since I've oh, seen The Last Unicorn. That artwork makes me think it's one of those creepy 1970s movies that kind of made you scared at points. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's right up there. It's right up there with The Secret of Nim and uh, what is it? The Last what is it the cauldron the dark cauldron the dark cauldron yes yeah. i'm always here for your yes references. i it's been a while it's been go. a while yeah uh oh, rank and bass productions okay yeah what other films did they make that look the same frosty the snowman these are all um christmas <laughs> franchises uh a stop motion Oh, except wow. For, except for Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. That was animated. Oh, Secret of Nim. Yeah. Did they do Secret of Nim? Oh, wait. Don Bluth did. Sorry. Those are franchises. Never mind. Yeah. A uh, lot of holiday, holiday the stuff. Hobbit oh, from the Hobbit? Oh, the old rotoscoped Hobbit they did. Wow. Quite a list. The Wind, Wind in the, in the Willows. Willows. Okay, that's the last film they made. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. Nim was Don Bluth. Yeah. Dragon Slayer. Yes. Yeah. I do remember the secret in them. Yeah. Uh, that one scared me a yep. lot. A uh, crossbow. Lot. Nostalgic 26. Atari 2600 mm. dude. Vitoko. Metal Lunar. Mike Soul. Prince of Purse. Dan A V C. <laughs> Prince of Purse. Yeah. Yep. Just yeah. Just need a sore and a cat outfit. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Atari 2600 dude. I said... Oh, a lot of the same people chatting, chatting. Carl G, Phaser Cat Games, Arena Foot, Ms. Command, Rod Kassler, Nostalgic, CRC Error, um, who is, I believe, the person who's fixing my XEGS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. I don't know if he's still watching. Uh, mm. Jedekiah. Rod Kessler. Uh, yep. Uh, and that's everyone. I think we're at the top. And Rainer Rainer Ghost. Foot was in there. Yeah, Rainer there Ghost. There we go. Um, so we'll be back on Friday with Intellivision Day. I'm very excited yes. to play the new upgraded Intellivision system. It should be fun. should be a lot First of fun. First time ever, right? Yes. On the, uh, on the stream? Intellivision. Oh, might have. It might be the first. Yeah. I don't think so, though. I think we played at some point. I, I don't know why we would have, because it would have been <laughs> terrible output. Yep, first time. Yep, first time in television. Yeah, that's what um, I thought. Yeah. We're not going to be playing a lot of intelligent games because they cost more. <laughs> <laughs> they homebrew. Well. They cost like twenty dollars more minimum. Oh, for the homebrew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, I really like Atari, yeah. but 
there's some games that you know you can't get on Atari, and there's some unique games for the Intellivision. So uh, we'll give it a go. Yep. Yep. Um, so we'll be back on Friday. It'll be uh, same time as tonight, 6 p.m. So we will um, see you then. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a good See night. Friday.